Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marty's Funko Collection. Yo, I got a grail in this week and I'm pretty happy. So this is going to be a two-part video. First video is going to be my standard unboxings and then the second part we're going to run into a sponsored video once again thanks to a certain comic store in Johannesburg. So stay tuned and see what that's all about. Righty, dirty. First of all, we're going to start off with a big box. This is from Clover Records. So, a couple of pops that I'd ordered in last week, I think. So, as we all know, packaging wise, oh, I scored me a free screen. Oh, hello, this is a Protector vs. Dodge I wonder who brings these oaks in. So thanks for that, Monique and TJ, shot for the screen protector, or the pop protector, that one. Right, now let's start off with unboxing these guys. Let me just double check there's no more extra freebies in there, except newspaper. Alright, as usual, very well packaged, lots of bubble wrap. First of all, let's start with, hmm, how am I not going to let you see? Let's block the view. So Monique and TJ love sellotape, love bubble wrap. And I think in turn that's why we love them. I'm gonna do this under here because you're also gonna cheat. You're gonna check out my pop. I don't like cheaters. Okay, so as most of you guys are aware, I have been focusing quite like adamantly down the middle on Joker pops. So this one I got in from TJ and Monique. So that's the new. Well, not the new, but this is the Joker Batman Bat, the Joker Batman Batman. That's uh, yeah, it's a mouthful. So this is a 2014 edition, and yeah, they're not hard to find, but they're also not easy to get here in SA. So this will be a lucky one to add on to all my Jokers. So thanks very much again, Monique and TJ, for that. So that is a Loot Crate edition. Next, we have one in a sorter box. So one could naturally assume that if it comes in a sorter box, there's probably no pop protector, hence the free protector verse one from our good friend Wayne. Now, this one, as most of you know, if you followed my videos before, I have not got all, but I have most of the holiday edition 2020 pops, which was the Jokers, the Batmans, the Harlequins. So this is the Hot Topic exclusive, which is Silent Night Batman. Very, very cool Funko Pop. I will pop better close-up pics at the end of the video for you guys to have a squeezy. So oh, this is quite a cool one. So they'll go nicely in my holidays Funkos. Immaculate condition. So thanks very much again, TJ and Monique. All right. So next one we've got. This is a grail that I had ordered off eBay. I have been waiting, not forever, but I'm now starting to focus more on some of the older grails. Um, the sort of mini grails, not the hectically expensive ones. I do have one of those that's stuck in customs, and they insist I have to pay them to look at my parcel. Alright, so this one, all the way in from eBay, also nicely packaged, and then in a sorter box too. This one, also one of my childhood favorite movies, and there's quite a cool story to this. I won't bore you with too much detail, but I'm actually one of four brothers. Uh, I'm the third in line, and we had a fourth younger brother who passed away on 1999 in a bike crash. So yeah, a bit of tragedy for us there, but let's keep that story short. When we were very, very young, I don't know if any of you guys out there still remember drive-ins, and in particular, the Feldskun driving. We used to go probably once every two weeks um, Dad used to fill us all up in his micro bus combi and off we'd go and watch movies. And I remember very clearly the one Friday getting home from school and looking in the newspaper to see what new movies were out for the night. It was usually two shows. And with us being very young, we'd only watch the first movie then go home. But to my demise, it was one particular movie that they released. And I won't say which one yet because it'll give away the pop. However, it was then considered a horror movie and I was unfortunately under age. My two older brothers were of legal age then. So what my dad does is, did is packed us all up into the combi, 
and uh, off we went to the Falskun driving. And I don't know if you know how microbus combis look, but the first set of passenger seats behind the driver and passenger seat, there were these like boxes behind the seat. So my two brothers would sit on the chairs with their legs across with a blanket. And of course I would hide underneath the blanket so they didn't spot me under age. And we went in and we watched my first ever actual horror movie, The Gremlins. And of course, yeah, I mean, any of you guys that are sort of around about my age will know that the Gremlins back in our day, it wasn't hectically scary or anything, but it was exceptionally cool robotics and, uh, you know, Gizmo and Spike and the works. They were just absolutely phenomenal characters. So this one has been on my wish list pretty much from day one, but I've just been waiting until the time is right to get one at a good price and in good condition. These very, very seldomly come in good condition nowadays. This is from a contact of mine in the States who's, who's done me a few good favors. So yeah, I'm very impressed and very happy that this one has now finally arrived. I've got a few more horror chases and things that are on their way still. So we'll unbox those when they do get here. But again, yeah, I mean, Gizmo and Bright Light, I mean, that, yeah, just one of the most epic sort of childhood movies of mine. And I'm sure a lot of you out there would agree. So I finally have a Gremlins chase in my collection. So a lot of people out there probably going, oh, oh, I've had mine for ages. Yes, yes, I know. I'm getting into the older stuff slowly, but surely there. Right now, we are going to swing on to part two of the next, of this video. Cool. So for part two of the video, this one has been sponsored once again by our good friends at Cosmic Comics in Blackheath or Northcliffe, whatever you want to call it, uh, in, on Baselodia in Johannesburg. They have got the largest Funko range of Funko Pops in South Africa by far. I mean, if any of you guys out there look for Pops, that's usually the first place you go to. They do bring in a lot of Pops that are not brought in by Gamma Tech, And they've given me two really cool, I'm going to call them figurines because one is Funko and one is not. And the reason it's not in absolute great packaging is that I actually sent my driver to fetch them. So, didn't have to worry about posting them. Right, first of all, we're going to start off with this one, which is a ad icon. So many of you guys know about the ad icons, you know, you've got things like the Frosties and Tony the Tiger from that and Fruit Loops Toucan and all the cool little ad icons. Um, of course, Tinky or yeah, Tinky the Kid, we call it Twinkies. So I've got Tinky the Kid chases in my collection. And then, of course, the really cool Slash Puppy. So 106. Funko Pop in the Ad Icons Edition Funko Pop range. Um, for those of you that actually don't know, while we're talking about that number, a lot of people have asked me what the actual number signifies. If you look at a Funko Pop, you'll notice that it has the pops on top and then underneath some form of description, not always, but it'll be things like movies, heroes, etc. Now, the number that you'll see on the bottom of this box is not actually a number specified to a certain range of the same pop. For example, if they release five it pops, for example, at the same time. Sometimes during the run, you would have find that there's a sequence missing. So you'll have number 100, 101, 102, 104, 105, 106. What happened to number 103? That could be a Funko Pop assigned to a different series of pops in the horror range. So it could have been a Michael Myers, just as an example. So you'll often find that your number sequences don't always line up, especially if you collect specific sets like uh, Game of Thrones, uh, It, and things like that. So if you do collect certain series, you'll often find that they're in the same category, but there's a number missing. It does not necessarily mean that you're missing a Funko Pop from that particular range. It could have been the next one in line that came through production for a completely different scenario pop. So that's a little bit of an FYI for you guys. But I think this one is really cool. I mean, everyone around the world knows what a slushy is. Come on. I mean, if you go to the movies... If you've gone ice skating back in the day or even nowadays, slush puppy machines are pretty much everywhere. And everyone loves slushies. I don't know of one person I've ever come across who doesn't. And of course, diabetics and things aside, but yeah. So this is a really, really cool Funko. I'm going to take these out of the box at the end of the video, give you guys a bit of a close-up on what they look like. He is carrying the slush puppy there as well, licking his lips. Uh, so yeah, this is very cool. And on that note, the reason that they've given me this one to showcase today, this is an exclusive. So this is not brought in by anyone else, unless, of course, there's smaller guys and will bring it in for somebody. But Cosmic Comics exclusive. There's no stickers on here. This is a full import of theirs. 
So if you guys want to get your hands on a slash puppy Funko Pop, pop into Cosmic Comics and chat to guys there. Uh, Jared is usually there every day. Chat to Brandon if Jared's not there. Um, yeah, great bunch of guys. Um, so yeah, that's that. Then they've also asked me to showcase a completely different line of action figures or figurines if you want to call it that. I know my channel is called Marty's Funko Collection, but I by all means will never ever steer away from not, you know, sort of showing other products. I am a massive, massive fan of Koto Bukia. So any of you guys out there who carry or keep Koto Bukia or collect them, um, I've got most of the older generation artifacts uh, and Artifacts Plus editions also through Cosmic Comics as they are the Kota Bukia agents in South Africa. So I've got a lot of the Star Wars one. Yeah, with that being said, I am now going to introduce you to a not a new line of figurine at all, but the guys at Cosmic Comics have asked me nicely to showcase the Iron Studios series of collectibles. Now, Iron Studios is a manufacturer of figurines. So if you guys can have a, I don't know if it's too much light or not. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So they've given me the Captain America to showcase um, from the Avengers Endgame. Now, why are they asking me to show you this is because they are also the distributor in South Africa for the Iron Studios series. These particular ones, I think they're 110 scale, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Maybe 116 scale. They should probably say on the box. Uh, I haven't done too much research. I do know quite a bit about the Iron Studios company itself. I did do a lot of reading up back in the day. Okay, I think it's a 110, but I'll put it up in the description if I'm wrong. Now, what's really cool about these, there are a lot of companies that license products, like, you know, Funko Pop is probably the most license-owned company in the world, but for not much more money than a Funko Pop would cost. Now, it's, a, it's still a very new company in the real world, the, the beauty about it is it's a Brazilian company for starts, so it's not an American or British company for a change. So that's quite a lucky thing to note. It was founded in 2014, and funny enough, it was a company called PZ Toys, if I'm not mistaken, that teamed up with Kota Bukia, and hence the Iron Studio series of uh, figurines were released. They got Marvel licensing, I think it was, yo, I might be wrong with my dates, but the Marvel license has only been around for them for probably about three or four years, maybe five at a push. But since they have Marvel licensed most of their stuff, they're really coming out with some lacquer stuff. I mean, there's, um, there's Thanos options, there's Rescue, Thor, uh, Wonder Woman they're just releasing now, I saw online today. Uh, so there's a new Wonder Woman coming through as well. They've got Iron Man, Captain Marvel. Uh, the retail price on these sits at around the 800 Rand mark. Um, they vary between 600 Rand upwards, I think. Uh, but if you look up close, there is a lot of the Kota Bukia sort of influence. If you look at just the packaging alone, um, I'm actually going to just bend the light here quickly. And I'm just going to move this side. So if you look at the packaging, it's very, very Kota Bukia influenced. Any of you guys who do collect Kota Bukia will notice the plastic is pretty much exactly the same and the infill plastic as well. But let's take this little bad boy out. And what you'll also notice at the bottom of the pop, or oh, pop, not a pop, is your branding, so your own studios, all the stickers and things. Of course, made in China and the license and so on. But I'm going to do some close-ups of this little guy and give you guys some more detail. It, and, and really, in all seriousness now, if you're spending about 300, 350 Rand on a common Funko Pop, and you know what it's like, there's thousands of these things that are launched, um, or at least hundreds at a time, but 
the nice thing with commons is that if you do collect a certain series, it's great, you can build your collection. Problem is it never stops. And I'm sure most of you guys know, you might think, yay, I filled my collection of Funko, now I don't need any more. And then as soon as you know, poof, there's a completely new series of wave of them and it just it doesn't end. What I really like about these, the fact is that they're not actually that expensive. You know, for a couple of hundred rand more than a Funko, you get exceptional detail. It's made from a certain poly um, plastic, which I think is UV, sunlight resistant and all those things. So you don't have to worry about where you actually store these. And yeah, I mean, they're very cool sort of cartoonish effects. So yeah, I, I think a great marriage. It's nice to have new things out there and different products to have you know, in your collections and so on. I know we all love our Funko Pops, but I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with Captain America holding Thor's hammer with a broken shield. And it might actually spark a new collection series for me. And the beauty is they're not massive. I mean, some of the Kota Bakir stuff I've got is massive, massive. So they take up a crap load of space. These would pretty much fit onto a shelf in the same space as a Funko Pop in display. So as you can see there, it really is, doesn't take up any space whatsoever. Let's get my light back in place. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much the video for you guys for today. And I just wanted to say another real big thank you to the guys at Cosmic Comics for helping out on this one. Um, yeah, now we had a really, really successful run on the last sponsored video for Cosmic Comics. I don't have any giveaways for this video, or at least that I know of. Um, but what I will do on the next one that we do from Cosmic is I will make sure we have something really, really cool to give away. So maybe even something like this, Captain America. So if there are any fans out there of the new Iron Studios Minico, this is the Minico series, then yes, we might do something as far as a giveaway. But again, links are in the description. Again, thanks Cosmic Comics for the sponsor. Thanks for letting me showcase these cool, 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 very, very cool products. Here, don't worry about it. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And if you look at the link in the description at the bottom, I'll send you a link to Cosmic Comics Funko section, as well as Cosmic Comics Mini Co. Iron Studio series. As you'll know, um, anyone who's a fan of collectibles, I think if you do like this sort of younger look, these things will probably become one of your more favorite collectors. The nice thing is they're cheap in comparison to some, and there's not thousands of them. So you can get a full set of them and it won't break the bank. Until next time, I shall see you guys. You stay safe out there, be kind to one another, and I will see you in the next video, which is not far from now. Bye-bye.